My name's Erica. I'm 53. I've got two teenagers at home, and one of them has flown the nest. I work in an insurance company. I'm just like anyone else, really, except I've got cholangiocarcinoma. It's a rare type of liver cancer and one of the toughest ones to treat. My care team reckon I've had it for years. Getting diagnosed was a terrible shock to the system for me, my husband and my kids. I'd had some pains in my stomach, but I didn't think they were serious. By the time I saw an expert, it was too late to operate. A few months ago, I didn't have any real worries, but now my life feels so uncertain. But my doctor tells me things are changing in cholangiocarcinoma, so I'm hopeful about the options that might be available to me. Cholangiocarcinoma is a very aggressive cancer, and due to a lack of specific symptoms, it's often diagnosed late. This can make it hard to treat, and currently there are very few treatment options available for these patients. My diagnosis came after a biopsy, like a big injection, except they take tumour tissue out instead of putting medicine in. It was just a small piece of me, but precious and incredibly important. It just may be a key to unlock new options for patients like me. Molecular testing has become essential in the fight against rare cancers like cholangiocarcinoma. All of us have an increasingly important role to play. From ensuring enough tissues taken during biopsy to using it sparingly during diagnosis to make sure there's enough left over for molecular testing. My team were great. They've made that tiny bit of tissue go a long way. And now I'm waiting. If certain genetic changes are found in my cancer, it might make me suitable for new targeted treatments. So, well, fingers crossed. The cells in our bodies are constantly dividing. Sometimes when certain genes in the cells change and become faulty, for example, when mutations occur, it can drive the cells to grow out of control. This is how cancer is formed. In order to try to stop the cancer growing, these faulty genes have to be brought under control. This can be done by selecting the right treatment. Almost half of cholangiocarcinoma patients have genetic changes which can potentially be acted upon. Molecular testing helps us to identify patients who have faulty genes in their cancer, and in turn, those who might benefit from targeted therapies that could significantly extend their life. And as more genetic alterations are being explored, we are creating a genetic footprint for the identification and treatment of the cancers of others in the future. It's been a difficult time for sure. But knowing I might have a way to get a bit more time, that keeps me going. And even if I don't, it's nice how that little part of me has contributed to science. That it might help someone else like me in the future. That's something. If you've been diagnosed with cholangiocarcinoma, ask your doctor about molecular testing.